Good morning. We have some news. Do you want to tell them? No, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> no, I'm not Thank pregnant. You. But we uh, do have some news. Want to tell them? Uh, we're going to get some chickens. We're going to get some chickens. <laughs> I did mention this in my last vlog, but like, it's happening. Like, we're doing it, and I didn't think we'd be doing it, but it's happening. Well, we, we came up with uh, what we think is probably the, the best solution for uh, the, the coop idea, which is moving yeah. along a little quicker than we thought, I think, right? Because I was planning on building one. We think we've got a better idea, so we're going to take you guys out there to show you what that looks like. But, um, yeah. but yeah, I think we might go to Tractor Supply today and get the... Uh, all of the Supplies. bedding stuff to keep them keep them indoors yeah. for the next four or six weeks and then uh yeah we'll go from there so we're gonna head outside show you what we're working with so maybe we'll go ahead and get everything for the little the little chicks and i don't know the next day or two or maybe today we will be having our own little chicks so let's head outside so we can show you what we're doing so we went back and forth about building a coop Huh? Building the coop right there. Yeah, building the coop. Building the coop over here because when we moved in, this was just like some kennels, I guess, for dogs, but we changed our mind. So we think that we want to use this old sheep shed because I don't think we're gonna use it for anything else. Well, I mean, it's ready to go. Like it's, we were gonna build, build one up there, like she mentioned, but uh, you know, that's extra money. That's not necessary. And this thing's already, pretty well set up for a coop I think so we're gonna see what we can do it's already got electricity ran out here which is a bonus yeah um, we'll just need to set up a run for the chickens and like new the windows um, needs so new is... windows new door yeah. but here it is not too bad I mean it's it's rough. <laughs> the other thing is it's got a uh, it's got a concrete floor, which I think is going to be a big bonus, though. So it'll make it easy to clean, hopefully. Um, and then we can use one side for yeah. the uh, the chicken area here, and then the other side can be used for storage. So yeah, be a good setup. Not um, bad. Yeah, definitely needs some work. We can put the nesting boxes on this wall. That way, when you walk in, you can get them out of here we can build this wall up put some perches in here and then the uh we can cut into the uh, wall here to put the run and cool. then make the run go that way we'll probably take this fence out because there's not a lot of use for it and then replace this with the chicken run probably i don't know i mean i haven't thought it through yet but maybe you know 15 feet long eight feet wide um and then bring that back in. The door will be over here, the automatic chicken door, so they can come in and out. Um, dusk, dawn type of thing. So uh, I think it'll work. I don't know. Yeah. Better, than, better, better than starting from scratch. Yeah. And then I think we're going to repaint it and just add maybe, I don't know, some cute touches to it, like some flower boxes, maybe some landscaping. But there's a lot of work to be done, but at least we don't have to start from scratch. Yep. Uh, but I think this could be really cute when we get done with it. So it's a big project, but I guess less of a project than, um, than building it. Yes. So I think we're going to go get the things we need for the little chicks and um, get that set up. And then maybe later today or tomorrow or in the next couple of days, I'm not sure, actually get the chickens. So we'll uh, take you along for this journey. It's a long journey, but it's going to be worth it. We're excited. <laughs> you got this. You got this. We got this. It looks like they're like sleeping down there. Well, you got to pick your breed hey, based on... See, yep. they're like way older. Yep. Cause they have like their feathers. So are they, they do too. Look, they're way older. Yeah. Do you think these are the same chicks as last week? Uh, probably. They look older. Those are pretty big chicks too. Those are big. Yes. Yeah, they look older for sure. So these are the chickens we were talking about. <laughs> um, few of these inside the, in the field yeah. we're gonna go. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's pretty. Feeling there's gonna be all kinds of chicken decor coming in the house now. Yup. This one. 
like cups, pictures. <coughs> oh yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Very nice. Is that for me? Yeah. Okay. I like that. <laughs> for food and water? Yeah, later on. Cool. So now I think we're going to get some kind of, what do you call that? Uh, it's like a hardware cloth. Huh? Hardware cloth. Some hardware yeah. cloth to go over the top of it. Since we do have dogs and we just want to be extra safe. It's colder than a witch's titty out here. All right. Got it. Better feeder watering situation too, too. Got it. But I mean, we're still going to need the big ones, so we can just go out and get them. Okay. Found All right, we changed our container out. We this one's just more cost effective. It's basically the same size, but it is cheaper. These will be but outside on the shed. Oh yeah, that's cute. Yeah, and I like that. Power, it's what I mean. Cute. But I think we got everything. We're getting excited. So how do you feel after buying all that? Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> I think we I think we got everything we need to get started. So feeling good. Uh, I think we made the right choice of swapping out a couple things, save a little bit of money. Yeah. Um, especially since it's only gonna be used for, you know, six weeks or so. Yeah. And we're only starting with like six um, chicks. Yeah. So some expensive eggs. <laughs> We think that's probably, from what we've been reading, that should be sufficient enough um, for six chicks. Christopher, I help you. what did we do last night? Um, we went on a little detour. <laughs> and ended up where? The monkey bar. The monkey bar. And what did we do at the monkey bar? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, we need to back up. What did we do? Irish car bombs. Look at this one. <laughs> are we getting chicks today? Or are we too hungover? It's on the way to my recovery smoothie, so yes. <laughs> what did you do last night? Drink too much. Smell like rum runners and Irish car bombs and bad. Choices. And like a whole pan of lasagna. Oh, that was so good though. I'm trying to get this water down. But, still thinking we're going to get the chicks. And smoothies. We look like irresponsible parents now. Exactly. That was our last night of... Our last two raw. That was like our baby moon. Yeah. Yeah, that was our baby moon. So now we have to... <sighs> Get some smoothies, coffee, and babies. Chicky babies. Okay, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're finally all cleaned up, took showers, drink more water. We're becoming more alive now, finally, at, you know, 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So he is going to run out and get all the stuff that we got yesterday. And we're going to start putting the little area together. And then head up and get these chicks. We are starting to get their little home together. We do have a hammock that usually um, is attached to this chain. But we figured it would be a good way to hang the heat lamp. And we put this on the bottom because we think it'll be nice and easy to clean. Um, for having it at the bottom, huh? Until we grab the newspaper. Yeah, until we grab the newspaper. Now he's just adding the flakes. Both of these in here, it would yeah. take up a lot of room. Exactly. And it doesn't give the chicks a lot of room. Apparently, you're supposed to have one side 
um, like half and half. So apparently they can get warm and then cool off if need be. So that's something we just learned too. All right, let's go get these chicks. And we're back at Tractor Supply. What we're gonna do is probably better than that. <laughs> yeah. They're cute uh, though. They are I cute. Know, like, I'll have five times that space. Yeah, so. that'll be nice. Three of the black ones and then three of the, of the yellow ones, please. You get three of them? <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hey, we just got home with the chicks, and then now we have the food and um, the water in here. We, I actually had two mason jars because they were out of the little bottles or tops for those. Um, but mason jars work, so that's cool. I wanted to mention one other one other thing is that we can raise and lower the heat lamp um, to the appropriate height um, as they get older. So we we'll probably have to lower it now, actually. That's probably good. Hi, the babies. It's the babies. Okay. All right, I'm gonna just grab them. I've never had a chip before. <laughs> Hi, Chester. What was the first one? Oh, that's um, Luna. Oh, okay. Um, Burrow. Oh, wait, they're girls. I forgot. That's <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I love a tiki. Welcome home. They're so confused. <laughs> They're not moving. Yeah, like, Hi. uh. You're so sweet. What is this place? You're so sweet. Hi. Ooh, that's Martha. Don't test me. That's Martha, she's an angry bitch. We're gonna lower it because I f we feel like it needs to be a little closer. Based on what I've seen the tractor fly, they were only about a foot off. So. Yeah, they were, it was pretty low at tractor supply. Low in there. Good morning, little guys. Good morning. Good morning. How did you sleep? I guess it's breakfast time. <laughs> Good morning, girls. All right, guys, so uh, we haven't updated you throughout the day, except this morning um, when I went in there to say hi and good morning to them. But they're doing good. They're chirping. They're eating. They're drinking. Um, I think there's one, one um, of the yellow birds that just always stands awake. I'm just assuming it's the same. She's making things up. I don't know. It just seems like one is, like, always on alert, like, always, like. The guard dog. Yeah, like, the, the one that's guarding everybody. I don't know. It's super cute. I think one thing we've learned is that um, I don't think there's one right way to do this, the whole brooding process, right? No, I mean... Uh, I don't know. It, I mean, we read a lot of things online. It's just like anything else. Like, you uh, <clears throat> you just keep reading, and then you find one thing that says do it this way, and that's the right. only way, and then something else will say something completely different. But, yeah. I mean, not, not completely different, but, you know, I think everybody has kind of their own way of doing it and you know i think we're just kind of taking rolling with it yeah, yeah figuring out as we go like taking taking bits and pieces of advice here and there and yeah putting it all together but i mean i think it's straightforward right i do too they got water and they got food they got a dry environment we're keeping it clean and they got the heat source so keeping them alive yeah that's keeping them objective happy one. happy and healthy you know and some people say don't get your chicks from tractor supply where others say it's perfectly fine. Other people say don't get them mailed, whereas other people say it's totally fine. So I don't know. I just think with anything, it, I don't think there's one exact, only one way to do this. So I think the end objective is 
just that, keep them happy, healthy, and alive. <laughs> they seem happy on day two. They do seem happy. So we've had them a little over 24 hours, and I think we're doing good. They're doing good. We're excited. We're happy. I'm a little infatuated. I think I go in there every, I don't know, two or three times an hour um, just to check on them. But um, hopefully that'll fade away, I guess, maybe if I get more comfortable with the situation. I think I'm just worried. I'm worried about them. They're good to go. They're good to go. So we're going to make this a little series on my channel. This will be part one if you're interested in this journey. Um, please subscribe. Like this video. Let us know what you want to see. Give us any advice. Um, but yeah, I think we're about to tackle this shed a little bit. So stay tuned for that. But uh, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on part two. See ya. <laughs> see ya. <laughs>